Hey there simulator fans welcome back to the channel virtual trucker here for another video and today we're gonna be playing truckers of Europe 3 and in this video guys we are going to drive the new map which is Gothard's Pass and in this new map we have two new locations ladies and gentlemen which is Erolo and Tremola I may have butchered the names of those places but if I do uh, just let me know in the comment section below and today we're gonna be driving the Scania S uh, or in game which is known as the stream and it has a 6x6 uh, long chassis all together with a 770 horsepower engine and we're gonna be hauling uh, a 72 ton wagon I was trying to find um, the uh, 128 ton uh, train or locomotive but unfortunately uh, we don't have that going down to Erolo so yeah but nonetheless ladies and gentlemen 72 tons going uphill going downhill is no joke and this is probably or arguably the uh, second most heaviest cargo in game so yeah we're gonna be having a lot of fun a lot of problems with this so without further ado ladies and gentlemen we're gonna cut the video until we reach the ferry so i'll see you later and yeah So after about a 10 minute drive we already arrive at the ferry station ladies and gentlemen so this is what the ferry looks like and yeah at night time it doesn't look much although um, some few things have been notified like uh, some references from ETS2 such as the ferry design itself it's really uh, reminiscing to that of the ETS2 now going back to the video so we're gonna be driving this I'm not sure what this um, icon there uh, supposed to be uh, take note ladies and gentlemen I did turn off our Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi for my phone because I don't want any banners to be up there in the screen because it's taking up a lot of space and it's giving me a lot of problems editing for that one so yeah also in the ferry system ladies and gentlemen you can sleep or rest you can definitely see a sleeping option or sleeping icon right there so if you want uh, to rest before the trip you can do so but unfortunately we cannot sleep here because we already have rested so we I guess we have to move on and enter the ferry so let's go and check out the ferry first now mind you ladies and gentlemen the ferry is not the same as in uh, World Truck Driving Simulator where you get to um, direct the ferry boat into uh, the, the uh, destination in Manaus. So it's a AI driven or it's just the game. The game will uh, bring you from one end to another which, which is actually really fine for me. I don't really ma uh, it don't really matter. Um, because you know we are here driving trucks instead of driving boats or ships so yeah yeah it's manageable for me so you can see here a lot of details for this one now you can see this is a cargo vessel so you have to pay uh, five hundred dollars for uh, the trip so I think it's it's uh, fair enough uh, because uh, we are paying $500 while hauling a 72 ton uh, cargo with us so yeah it's actually really you know fair for us so you can see here or if you cannot see here that the ship is actually moving itself um, you might not see it properly because sometimes YouTube likes to darken things out you can see the stars there moving at the background so we are moving guys so yeah it's actually really nice you know uh, seeing something like this although uh, I wish if ever like uh, they would like to expand more on like uh, ocean ocean style um, gameplays uh, we might see a bigger ship you know uh, that would be really nice 
so as far as you can see it here you can also move around the ship but you cannot go up there at the deck so yeah this is the ship guys uh, one of the uh, new um, uh, features for truckers of Europe 3 I kind of dig it I, I actually love it though it really represents like an actual ship I've been to one you know I've been to one I have uh, I rode the ship j similar like this similarly like this okay so uh, the the uh, the details on this one I have to give you know on the software the credits for this they do deserve this one and it's really 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 nice so yeah also the trip might take long so we have to cut uh, some time off so yeah I'll see you on the other side guys all right finally we have reached the other side although you might notice it's already daytime uh, it's early in the morning probably at 4 before 5 um, yeah I purposely did that for the main reason that I don't want to drive uh, Guthard's Pass during like sundown because I want to see the view and I want to show all of you the view of the place it's really nice guys and yeah um, once again props for uh, Wanda Software for providing us with this amazing feature the ferry boat system I really dig it I love it and hopefully more features in the near future guys so yeah kudos to uh, Wanda Software for this one all right so we finally uh, you know uh, started our engine so might as well just move and go along with the uh, journey ahead so without further ado let's keep on rolling ladies and gentlemen so uh, let's try to play this game as realistic as you know as possible so you, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be gunning down that um, accelerator inside the uh, ferry because you know in real life there are a lot of people around you and that's one thing which one software should add is people around you know some areas like this I mean you only have one we only have one people or one person in the game which is our driver I haven't seen another people or other people I, I, I we actually see other people like uh, in the uh, construction areas you know in the mining areas I mean they did that but you know we wish that we could see some people also around the cities here in the ferry boat system guarding the ferries or some random NPC uh, vehicles inside the ferry just to make you know just to make us feel that we're not alone in this journey so yeah so here we go ladies and gentlemen Gothard's Pass um, yeah you, you can see in the distance there or the, in the distance there uh, a bridge which is in an arch bridge actually an arch bridge yeah that is an arch bridge so that is going I'm not sure probably a going to Tremola Tremola if it's pronounced properly or Tremola 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 or Tremol ah uh, <laughs> yeah I'm butchering the name of the place uh, I'm not sure the name of the place actually I'm not sure how to pronounce that but I'm pretty sure it's somewhat German or French since this a uh, this area is situated in the Swiss or Switzerland so probably pronounced that way so yeah you can see here you can actually see the mountain ranges there guys now um, would this be on par or would this exceed um, the Swiss or the Alpine um, route uh, which is currently in the game uh, which is uh, going to a city or a town called Lech or Lech is this going to surpass that let's you know let's try let's try to decipher things out so yep that is a big bridge okay that is a big bridge and we're not I think we're not driving there we're turning I think we're turning right instead of left so we we gotta we gotta stay focused here 
uh, we gotta keep our composure because you know what the road here is very narrow just two lanes and I am starting okay low fuel uh, we need to refuel first hopefully there's a fuel station uh, in somewhere you know before we start their journey I mean we already started our journey so uh, I wish there's going to be a fuel station here but I think there's something there's an icon up top yeah this is no no it's locked we can't go there see um, yeah we cannot go there so that's a locked area so we can't go there probably it might be unlocked in the near future we'll see we'll see I mean driving in that area would be would be nice you know uh, you can also see some uh, beautiful mountain ranges there so hopefully the game developers will optimize uh, I mean will utilize that so yeah um yeah we are turtling our way um, I can feel the 72 ton cargo pulling me back and uh, this is a herpin curve this is not fun at all I mean yeah sharp turns with this trailer is not your best friend I mean uh, even with 770 horsepower ladies and gentlemen we are still struggling to keep up uh, this I think we have the momentum here yep we have the momentum oh all right there is actually a gas station here so I guess we have to fill up our tank before we proceed with our journey just in time oh uh, yeah yeah good timing <laughs> you know good timing for this one so yeah we're gonna fill up our tank come on and you can see how beautiful the mountain ranges at the background guys yeah yeah I just can't stop you know I just can't stop um, uh, admiring the place or the map which one the software did an incredible job modeling uh, hence that's why it took some time to finish you know so uh, let's try to give ourselves to get ourselves a better look look at that man look at that guys oh yeah that is a beautiful mountain pass and I am actually digging it I'm loving it right now as my, uh, should I should I make a judgment right now which is better um, is it the Alpine pass or the Alpine Ridge or this one um yeah I'm going to make a a comparison in probably in the end of the video so yeah I'm just going to need to merge into this traffic I'm not sure why the bus is stopping there uh, so let's back up back up um, uh, hello mr. bus okay I guess it's not moving so um, better move our move out of the way we are going through 70 to ton going through <laughs> just admire that ladies and gentlemen. look at that that is amazing you know I, you are going to hear me say all of these words again and again in this video um yeah the, the view is just so amazing guys and I might um, shut up or I might you know keep quiet in some portions of the drive just for you to make look or just for you to look at the uh, surroundings so just in time for sunrise the best decision ever made you can see here we can see clearly our path you know yeah I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of herpin curves here uh, if you don't know what herpin curves is that's basically a road with the um, extreme twist or uh, extreme like um, yeah we're gonna turn on the power here um, power mode or sport mode so that we our truck will have an extra power or lift so you can you can definitely see the truck struggling to reach about 30 kilometers per hour and it's starting to fog uh-huh 
okay okay starting to fog um, hopefully it doesn't rain uh, because it's going to like hinder the view of the area I mean fog is fine you can still see uh, I mean it's um, it's necessary to, to have fog in this area because it's really high up in the mountain so yep um, so again one the software um, this was teased I think last year or early January I forgot uh, if you remember when the Gothard's Pass or the new map was teased do let me know in the comment section below so this is the new update for everybody to, uh, for everyone to know and what else um, what else guys is being teased before is the double trailers um, the double trailers have been I think the game developers have been wor working on with the uh, double trailers um, for quite some time now and there's no update for it so we might hear in a couple of weeks for that because we already I mean we just have this update for the Gothard's Pass and it's a very big map because when I downloaded uh, the update or when I updated the app it's about 230 megabytes of download so it's a very big map so I think they're working on um, this first and simultaneously with the new trailers like the double trailers I mean uh, I think there's already like five people working on the game right now uh, uh, three on the uh, original team uh, we have uh, three yeah we have Bertan, Ismael and uh, Wanda itself or Wanda himself and then we have the two new um, modelers which is from I think Web Peron Games if you remember Web Peron Games uh, they actually made uh, heavy machines and construction simulator and heavy machines and construction what is that uh, heavy machines and mining sorry heavy machines and mining simulator and heavy machines and construction simulator or logistics simulator I forgot the name of the game um, they haven't worked on uh, that game anymore so I think they're working with one of the software for Truckers of Europe 3 which is a great idea by the way I mean Truckers of Europe 3 is already an established game and all they need is like uh, more team on working on the game so that the updates can be a lot faster so yeah kudos to Wanda Software and of course to Web on Games for making this you know a reality for everybody so we have two roads here we have to go to the left I think this is another road this is probably probably going to Tremola Tremola this yeah I think this is the road going to Tremola Tremola we oui, oui, French. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Just admire, like, yeah. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. Um, yeah, I'm now recording live. This is a pre-recording, so I might change something in the near future. Uh, I was thinking though of going live gameplay for this one, but I'm not sure. Uh, what do you think? Should I go? Should I play live? Um, yeah. By the way, if you noticed um, I have not played the game or I have not uploaded on my uh, YouTube channel for a while now also on Facebook um, yeah I haven't I haven't been like uh, uh, active on my social media platforms uh, just because I have a new job uh, which requires uh, it's, it's not really a stressful job though uh, it's an okay job but yep, I've not been getting a lot of views on YouTube lately, so I kind of, you know, kind of lost uh, momentum uh, for that. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, I am back, and I'll keep making. I'll try to make new videos, so probably two to three videos per week, or probably two videos per week. Um, yeah, just to keep you entertained, you know, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure a lot of you already have forgotten about me. So, yeah. So, as you can see here, we are actually struggling to reach like 20 kilometers per hour. And you can, you can feel the, while driving this one, you can actually feel 
the cargo behind you pulling you back remember this is 770 horsepower probably the 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 most powerful engine we have in the game and we are struggling to climb uh, this incline right here this is actually a really, a really nice like over or uh, passing here should we call that a tunnel um it's not a close in the other side probably should, let's just call that a tunnel okay for now let's let's call it a tunnel for now all right so yeah going back uh yeah i haven't been really active or i haven't been really active for almost two months now yeah uh, like i said i have a new job and I'm actually really focusing on that right now because YouTube is hasn't been really nice to me um, I have a lot of like uh, copyright claims for music and YouTube though and I'm not sure why because I'm using like uh, in their description I've, I've been using like a royalty free music but I have been claimed multiple times by a different you know artist claiming that that music is his and I don't have any permission but I asked the original author about that and they said they will do something but unfortunately they, they haven't still done anything so is that look at that oh oh great now we need to sleep uh, that is actually not a good sign I don't think there I don't think there's like a rest stop here at the top of the mountain you know and yeah, you can see here ladies and gentlemen we only drive or there's only like a two lane drive here two lanes okay um we're gonna be struggling yeah 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 the truck doesn't like that it doesn't like that at all um yeah we are also running like the two plus two uh a 12 plus to uh, gear shift for the truck and it's still struggling you know uh, if you notice I'm driving the, the uh, automatic uh, for the re same reason guys I don't know for the reason being that um, if I use the manual which I really like to use in other games uh, when I use the manual manual uh, manual mode for the truck or the uh, uh, se sequential uh, mode for this one, the problem is the buttons are too small, and yeah, my fingers are quite big, so I always misclick the um, you know this is the plus and minus. I always click the neutral. I'm having a, ru a rough time using that feature but just for the reason of being the buttons too small so that's why I just use the, um, the uh, automatic for uh, my truck should be your three uh, trucks or game or whatever you want to call it so yeah you can see the road below the valley guys look at that the mountain ranges and of course the valley below about a 200 foot drop that is actually really nice I, I haven't thought I mean I have I have Google okay look at that view guys can you just appreciate the amount of work which is put into this there is a windmill there I'm not sure why there is a windmill um, in the valley um, I mean uh, should it the should it the wind be like hindered by the mountain? Okay, just, it, it probably it's just me. So yep, you can see here. Yeah, we are. Yep, we are finally going downhill, and we have reached about 50 kilometers right now. And we should be. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that truck is just speeding, guys. You can see there. It just went by like meow, <laughs> not having any care in the world. So yeah. So 
so this is probably Tremola, Tremola, somewhere here. Uh, we can actually go on the left, but we have to continue go straight. And that is our destination. We are going to Erolo. Erolo. Yeah, this car, man. The AI. So it doesn't recognize, but yeah. yeah. Um, if you're asking if the AI, the AI is still, you know, like stopping in uh, in front of you, yes, they still do. And I think the developers have not thought about or, or have not thought about a solution. We are speeding. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, don't speed. Um, especially when you are hauling like 72 tons, like the wagon behind me. Do not speed. I'm trying to keep my. I'm trying to keep up here, uh, not making this video too long. I'm trying to drive casually but uh, yeah here is a new tunnel by the way this is not your typical generic tunnels that you see going to Nancy yeah this is really nice look at that guys the valley the road below are we going to drive those are we going to drive those I'm not sure I mean, uh, the video is already like 27 minutes. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Look at that. I just can't, you know, I, I keep looking at this scenery spray, uh, right there. But, um, yeah, you have to drive perfectly careful here because you don't want to, yeah, like something like that. You don't want to cause an accident inside this one because if you ev if ever you are like um, de derailed or your truck like suddenly turns um, 90 degrees, it's going to you're going to have a hard time backing up. Okay, because this is this is a small enclosed place with this tunnel right here, and I think this tunnel is actually really long. Yeah, you can see in the minimap there, there's a road. I think we are, yeah, uh, I think we're going to be driving on another hairpin curve. You can see the outside of the uh, tunnel right now. So we have to slow down because it's a turn. Yeah, we have to slow down. Look at that. Yeah, that is not fun at all. Look at that road. <laughs> can you see that can you see how narrow the curve yeah we we have we definitely had we we definitely need to slow down here that is not fun not fun at all you can see it there yeah, we have to slow down. Uh, we, we might go into third person for this one. Yeah, look at that. Look at the view, guys. Yeah, that is beautiful. That is beautiful right there. Yeah, but we have a very big problem here. Uh, this is not ideal yeah I'm not sure if in real life we have uh, this much of a traffic in this part of uh, Gotthard's Pass yeah this is not fun not fun at all not fun uh, we have to slow down yeah barely missing him okay Oops, whoops, slow down, yeah, that, that, we have, oh no, 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 that's a bus right there, and you know about buses, they're long, and they're not articulated, so, yeah, he didn't even, like, hug the, oh, come on, oh, come on, come on, 
Let's do it. Let's do it, brother. Let's do it. Come on, let's go. Okay, almost there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are super barely missing him. Okay. Yep. That's all good. That's all good. Was that? Yeah, that's all good. Barely missing him. Why is this bus right there? Oh, okay, that's the bus lane. Look at that. Sandwiched by two buses. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. We are hugging the other lane right now, so I'm so sorry. Yeah, that is a beautiful. Well, look at that, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. What had happened? What happened to the bus there? All right. Uh, we made it through that difficult section right there. Oh my goodness. So we are driving once again, gunning down the hill. I'm not sure if there's more hills to climb. Hopefully just going down right now. Oh my gosh, that was one of the most difficult turns. Just for the sake that there is a barrier on each side. Is this a rock? It's a rock. Wow. I can see it there. Did we hit it? I, 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 I don't think we hit that. Yeah, that wasn't something. I wish somebody would wish somebody would pick that up. You know, it would definitely damage. It would definitely damage the truck though. If we hit that. So yeah. So here we go guys. We're gonna be driving again. We're going downhill. So if you have a heavy load behind you, you have to slow down. Don't want to cause an accident here. Because one fatal accident can cause everything to go down. Like, literally. Yeah, I'm keeping, I'm keeping my, my um, speed like up to 50 kilometers, something, 50 plus. I don't want to go like 60 or 70 going downhill. That's too fast for me. Another herpene curb. Oh my goodness. Alright. Another check. You see that? <laughs> the vehicle just vanished. Okay, so another challenge here for us guys. Another challenge. Uh you know, we already we already like um, I think this one is yeah, I think this one is much tighter. This one is a lot smaller than the previous uh, turn. Although we are we are turning outside from outside. Might be yeah, I'm not sure about this one. This is really difficult. Look at that. Slow down. Yeah, we gotta slow down. Okay, third person. See our truck here slowing down, slowing down as we progress. Careful now. Whoop! Okay, that wasn't that wasn't supposed to happen. What? I didn't hit. I didn't hit. I didn't even hit that. Like how? The hitbox on those things. Look at that! I. What the? Okay. Okay. Hopefully, it di didn't damage the truck, though. Yeah. If I no 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 no. Okay. We need to rest. I think there's nothing here to like uh, to rest on. I mean, we're basically on the side of the mountain right now, so there's no rest stop. I think until we reach the bottom of the valley. You could wow. Look at that on the right side. The mountain range. Plus the river below and the trees. Yeah, definitely a great job by uh, Want to Suffer and Webcoming Games for this one. Yeah, I I'm not entirely sure what, uh, which role uh, Webcoming Games is in. Like, um, are they working 
on the map or are they working on other features or are they working on the new trailers uh, as far as we know uh, they are actually um, sharing information uh, with us so on their official discord server by one the software so um, yeah, yeah you can see me here we are going down guys because I don't want like that fatigue to catch up with me it should be but that should be a uh, that area should have been like a rest stop though uh, it, it does have that um, edge thingy on the side of the thing so yeah uh, again um we're going down pedal to the middle uh, because I, we don't want to catch the fatigue look at that guys look at that view that is nice wow the actual effort which the game developers actually put in this game or in this map is really really top you might see and here's a rest stop here but it's on the wrong side of the road wow look at that that's that's our destination right there below in the valley oh my god oh my goodness man yeah we are nearing the end of our journey right here so far so good no words actually no words to describe and you know I haven't been quiet this whole journey couldn't stop thinking about or talking about how beautiful the map is how well laid the map is and I can see another herping curve here we go guys <laughs> I can see another herping curve hairpin curve herping hairpin it's pronounced hairpin um, virtual trucker or VT yeah yeah that's that's not fun stuff <laughs> uh, we're holding uh, long trailers let's try and I think we should you know we should try another challenge uh, we should try that um, long trailer remember that uh, the one with uh, the generator or powerhouse or uh, what do you call that cargo right there we should try Oop. okay we skip there yeah just because the trailer actually has like st steerable axles when you steer they also steer so the problem with the trailer is that if you oversteer instead of going left you are going right you know uh, do, do you understand about that so if you oversteer because it's a counter steer so if you oversteer to the left you are actually going to the right because the uh, trailer might or the trailer will turn that way so we have to get off this one yeah they should do like that area right there I mean they already started this area here in Gothic Pass in Tremolo Tremolo I mean Ayahola they should open that and make use for an ad another like another pass or mountain pass that would be really nice we are down in the valley this is actually beautiful this is actually really beautiful like 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 I said earlier I can't stop admiring this uh, this area right here Wow well uh, let's just be honest I mean the Swiss is just Switzerland is just a beautiful place I think this is the end of our journey we're gonna be turning left and that is all for this video ladies and gentlemen hopefully you do enjoyed it and if you do please leave a like button it really helps the channel a lot comment down below what you think so is this map better than that of the alpine pass mm, it's actually on par 
the thing I like about the Alpine Pass is the snowy edges of the map which is really beautiful I love the Alpine Pass so much it's my dream to go there hopefully I can go there in the near future so once again this is virtual trucker keep on trucking and stay safe and I'll see you on the next video bye bye